Welcome to a new video. My name is Myra Kagete. In this lesson, you can learn about using can, could, and be able to for talking about ability. Listen to my explanations because there will be a quiz at the end of the video. Kung bago pa lang kayo sa aking channel, you might want to subscribe and click the notification bell right next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified as soon as I upload a new video. Ang can at could ay mga halimbawa ng modal auxiliaries. Tinatawag rin niya na modal verbs or simply modals. Ang mga modal verbs na sinasabi natin ay yung can, could, may, might, will, would, shall, should, must, and ought to. Ang mga yan ay mga helping verbs lang, okay? They cannot stand on their own. A modal verb needs to work together with the main verb in our sentence to express possibility, obligation, permission, or ability. By the way, I've already created videos about will versus would, should versus must, and um, should've, could've, and would've. If you would like to watch those videos, I will put the links in the description section and in the comments below. So, tandaan natin ha na yung can and could are modal verbs. Ngayon, yung be able to naman, it is not considered as a modal verb. Technically, it is not a modal verb. It is just a phrase, okay? Isa siyang phrase na binubuo ng be verb, kaya nga be, di ba? Plus an adjective, plus an infinitive. So, again, ang be able to is not a modal verb. Now, let's look at can. Ang modal verb na can ay pwede natin gamitin when we want to talk about possibility, when we want to ask for permission, or when we want to make informal requests and orders, and of course, when we want to talk about ability. Sa video na ito, tututukan natin yung paggamit ng can for talking about ability. Ano ba yung ability? Of course, ito yung kaya natin gawin. Okay? Ito yung meron tayong kakayahang gawin. Ang can ay ginagamit when we want to talk about our present or general ability in the present. Okay? Hindi yung mga bagay na kaya natin gawin dati, nung nakaraan, o yung mga bagay na kakayanin natin gawin in the future. So again, ang can ay ginagamit when we talk about our present or general ability in the present. For example, I can speak four languages. Ibig sabihin, kaya kong magsalita ng apat na lingwahe. I'm talking about my present ability. He can understand German. Kaya niyang makaintindi ng German. Sa mga sentences na yan, ginamit lang natin na pantulong yung modal verb na can doon sa mga main verbs. Ngayon, kapag nasa negative form naman ang inyong sentence, then you can simply use cannot or can't. For example, she cannot write a business letter. Or simply, she can't write a business letter. Ibig sabihin, hindi niya kayang magsulat ng business letter. So we're talking about her present inability. I cannot speak French. Or simply, I can't speak French. So ibig sabihin, hindi ko kayang magsalita ng French. I'm talking about my present inability. Sa mga hindi pa nakakaalam, yung cannot na one word at cannot na two words ay pareho lang ng ibig sabihin. But, yung cannot na one word is more commonly used and has become the standard form in formal writing. So, kung mababasa ninyo sa mga grammar books or resources, ganyan ang sinasabi nila. Yung cannot na one word ay yung standard form. Yung cannot na two words is usually used for emphasis, okay? Para magbigay ng the end doon sa ating message. For example, I cannot do it. So, it's considered more emphatic. May the in. Usually, ginagamit rin natin yung cannot kapag ang can ay sinusundan ng phrase na nagsisimula sa not. For example, these pills can not only help you lose weight, but also improve your skin. So, sa phrase na yan, ang ginamit natin yung cannot only, but also. Ibig sabihin, ang mga pills na ito ay hindi lamang nakakatulong sa pagpapababan, pagbabababa, pagpapababa ng iyong timbang, kung hindi sa pagpapaganda rin ng iyong balat. So, yun yung ibig sabihin ng cannot only, but also. Now, let's look at could. 
Yung modal verb na could naman ay pwede natin gamitin when we want to talk about possibility, when we want to formally ask for permission, when we want to make suggestions, or when we want to make formal requests and orders, and of course, when we want to talk about ability. Ang difference lang na could sa can is that could is used when we talk about past ability. So when we talk about ability, yung could ay yung past form ng can. For example, when I was young, I could climb coconut trees. Ibig sabihin, nung ako ay bata pa, kaya kong umakyat ng puno ng nyog o puno ng buko. She could already count from 1 to 100 before she even started school. So, ibig sabihin, kaya na niyang magbilang from 1 to 100 bago pa man siya mag-umpisang mag-aral. Kapag nasa negative form naman ang iyong sentence, then all you have to do is to put not after could. So, you can say could not or simply couldn't. Yung shortened form yan ay couldn't. For example, when he was a kid, he could not ride a bike. Or simply, when he was a kid, he couldn't ride a bike. So in this sentence, we're talking about uh, someone's past inability. Now let me talk about be able to. As I said earlier, ang be able to ay hindi talaga modal verb. It is just a phrase na binubuo ng isang be verb plus able, which is an adjective, plus an infinitive. Actually, yung structure na dapat ninyong sundan ay be able to do something. Ang be able to ay pwede natin gamitin sa iba't ibang klaseng verb tense, actually. So, ang be able to ay pwede natin gamitin when we want to talk about our present, past, or even future ability or inability. Ang kailangan lang natin gawin is change the form of the be verb in that phrase. So, for example, when you talk about the present or your present ability, you can say, I am able to do something. She, he, or a singular noun, is able to do something. You, we, they, or a plural noun, are able to do something. Ngayon, kapag ang pinag-uusapan naman natin ay yung past ability, then we say, I, she, he, or a singular noun, was able to do something. You, we, they, or a plural noun, were able to do something. Kapag ang pinag-usapan naman natin ay ang future ability, then you can use any subject. So, any subject will be able to do something. Siyempre, ang gagamitin natin ay will be. As I said, ang be able to ay pwede natin gamitin sa iba't ibang klaseng verb tense. I'm just focusing on the simple verb tenses in this video. Now, let me give you some example sentences. I am able to drive a car. So of course, in this sentence, we're talking about present ability. I am able to drive a car. Kaya kong magmaneho ng kotse. Pareho lang din yan dun sa I can drive a car. Kapag nasa negative form naman ang inyong sentence, then you can say, I am not able to drive a car. Or simply, I am not able to drive a car. Pareho lang yan dun sa I cannot drive a car or I can't drive a car. So in these sentences, we're talking about present inability. You will be able to walk again after the operation. Or simply, you'll be able to walk again after the operation. So dito naman, pinag-uusapan natin yung future ability. Kapag nasa negative form naman, then you can say, you will not be able to walk again after the operation. Or, you won't be able to walk again after the operation. Dito naman, ang pinag-uusapan natin ay yung future inability. I was able to take care of my little sister when I was 9 years old. Ito naman, ang pinag-uusapan natin ay yung past ability. Kapag nasa negative form naman, then you can say, I was not able to take care of my little sister when I was 9 years old. Or, I wasn't able to take care of my little sister when I was 9 years old. Sa sentence naman yan, syempre, ang pinag-uusapan natin ay yung past inability. Ngayon, there's one thing that you have to remember when it comes to using was able to or were able to. You was able to and you were able to are usually used when we talk about a specific ability in the past, in a specific situation. So, 
it's also used when you talk about accomplishments or achievements. Kumpara dun sa could. Yung could kasi ay usually ginagamit natin when we talk about uh, past general ability. Dito naman sa was able to or were able to, ang ginag usually ginagamit natin yan when we talk about specific ability in a specific situation or kaya naman when we talk about achievements or accomplishments. Katulad dun sa example sentence ko kanina, I was able to take care of my little sister when I was nine years old. So it's an example of an achievement or an accomplishment. Nagawa kong uh, alagaan yung aking maliit na kapatid nung ako ay nine years old pa lang. I'll give you some more examples. They were able to finish the project on time. So, ibig sabihin, nagawa nilang tapusin yung project sa tamang oras. So, they were able to finish the project on time. She was able to move on from her ex. Ibig sabihin, nagawa niya o nakaya niyang mag-move on dun sa ex niya. It's an example of an accomplishment or achievement. Ito naman, bibigyan ko naman kayo ng example ng sentences gamit ang could at saka was able to. So, for example, my grandmother could dance ballet when she was a teenager. Sa sentence na yan, ginamit natin yung could. Okay? Kasi ang sinasabi ko ay yung kayang gawin ng aking lola nung uh, siya ay teenager pa lang. It was her general ability in the past. She was able to perform with some prima ballerinas in Europe when she was 17. Dito naman sa sentence na to, ginamit natin yung was able to. That was her specific ability in a specific situation in the past. And it's also one of her accomplishments. So she was able to dance with some prima ballerinas in Europe when she was 17 years old. So yan na, isa yan sa mga dapat nating tandaan sa pagkakaiba ng paggamit ng could at saka was able to or were able to when we talk about past ability. So yung could, generally we use it for talking about uh, past or general ability in the past. Yun namang was able to or were able to I usually ginagamit when we talk about uh, specific ability in the past or accomplishments and achievements. Now, there's one more thing that I'd like to point out in this video. Ito yung isa sa mga common errors na mga ESL learners, na mga English as a second language learners. Yung pinagsasama nila yung can at saka be able to sa isang phrase or sa isang sentence. For example, I can be able to play the piano. That's actually not correct. Hindi nyo pwedeng pagsabi, uh, pagsamahin yung can at saka be able to sa sentence na yan. You can either say, I can play the piano or I am able to play the piano. Now let's start the quiz. I would like to say thank you to those who've given me super thanks in my long form videos like this and in my shorts videos. Thank you so much for appreciating my content and for supporting my channel. Um, if you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. You can also subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. I'll see you again next time.